Okay, here I have different colors of cardboard that I had cut in tiny pieces and then I ran them through a sieve to give them different grades and then some of them I colored just by putting some paint in a container and putting them in a microwave for 10 seconds, stirring them, putting them back in, taking them out, stirring them 10 minutes at a time about five or six times until they were all dry. Now I will do a video showing how I did that but for now this is just some of the colors I have and I'm going to mix them together to do leaves on a tree. So I'm going to take some of the bigger ones, the little graded ones, I'm going to set aside this and these couple here and I'm going to take some of these and just mix them up some in the red there. I'll put some green in with it. Okay. Like that. And I'll take my tree and what I'm going to do is put glue on the limbs and just kind of stick it in there so it'll stick to the limbs of the tree and make it look like leaves. Get some on there. I'm going to do this a few times to build it up. You want to let it dry between times. Just kind of move it around in there. Now it don't look like much right now but it will build up. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a few times and show you the results. That's the first time. Okay, this is what we're going to be working on today. The uh, Steven Universe original house from the pilot episode. And I uh, got a picture of it up here. And, uh, let's see if you can see where the gems are there. We're going to be putting a light dry brush on here and I'll be putting the gems on the palm and there's one in the center. I think I figured out a unique way to do that. I got a list underneath here where I left off everything I got to do. The telephone pole, the trash can, satellite dish, and the four gems. One, two, three, four. So that's that and I'll try to find the other picture here of the house. I don't know if this is it. And that's still the back of the house.
Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to make the gems that will be going on the palms of the hands. And one will go here, and I think one goes here, if I'm not mistaken. It says it's going to be one, two, three, four. Maybe it goes here. I'll have to check that. But anyway, we'll be making four of them. So I took a piece of cellophane. I'm working on a piece of wax paper here. But I'm going to take the sheet of cellophane, and I'm going to cut it into... They don't have to be exact. I'm just going to cut them. And uh, I'll make five. I'm going to make an extra one in case I need it. Okay, and then you, you open these up. A little bit of water and this is the important part okay you want to use some glue too so I'm going to take the glue and I'm mix it in with the water uh, typical Some in there. Okay. I'm going to go from a light color to the darker. that. Okay. Now, I'm take a little bit of this. deeper okay get another piece of wax paper I'm gonna set this back to dry real good I like to keep a I like to keep a damp rag handy when I'm working with acrylics. Get a little purple on here. Just you can see I'm just doing it a little bit messy here, and you'll it'll all make sense a little later after this is dry. 
let's see. Uh, try to see if we can get all the colors on one here somehow. Kind of neat. Okay, see that there? Let's set this aside to dry. one goes here too. We want to cut the holes for the gems. So I'm going to draw circles.
Okay, let's cut them too and see how they look.